How would I respond to critics who might view mindfulness practices as an unnecessary addition to education? And in that sense, I would say that almost all of traditional education in K-12 schools, even today, is really built around what we would think of as traditional in the sense of basic subject matter learning. And that is all really important, but schools can, should be, and always have been also places where students develop as human beings, um, ready and prepared for the future, ready to function in society, socially, emotionally, in terms of their well-being and their ability to cope in the world. So any preparation that school can offer students in addition to all of the critical disciplinary subject areas. All of those additional components of social learning, emotional learning that we can offer them are really important to not only their health and well-being throughout their life, but their ability to function productively in society and be good citizens. So in that sense, I think knowing that mindfulness does not have to take a lot of time out of any of the traditional curriculum, but can actually truly enhance it so that it's not just an add-on, but it's an opportunity for students to help themselves feel more self-regulated, for students to kind of co-regulate with each other and be able to settle themselves down and focus together. I think that's an incredible benefit to the existing material or any other new material or ways of teaching in terms of curriculum or how we think about what we do in schools. So that ability to help students cope, function, understand their own mind, that's a skill that broadly spans a lot of different subject areas and that they can take throughout life to be more happy, fulfilled, and more able to successfully be citizens in the world.